Now it's also my pleasure to introduce Berkeley's Vice Chancellor for Research, Randy Katz, and an early pioneer uh, who was also there from the beginning to launch Citrus. Randy. Uh, thank you, Camille, and thank you, Governor Davis. I wish to convey my special thanks to you for your vision of the transformational impact that California ECs could have and your support to establish them at the University of California. Today, we celebrate Citrus's 20th anniversary, one of our most productive research institutes founded on a strong partnership with Davis, Merced, and Santa Cruz. As a computer scientist, I count from zero, and so I consider myself the zeroth director of Citrus. For those of you who were here at its founding, you may remember its difficult birth. Citrus was not one of the original three institutes, which already included an information technology institute at San Diego and Irvine, Cal IT squared. Nevertheless, Dean Richard Newton was persistent in his effort that we have one in Northern California, focused on information technology and leveraging the enormous local IT industrial ecosystem. Working with him and with founding chief scientist, James Demmel, we developed a unique emphasis on societal applications of information technology with a particular focus on how IT can improve the lives of all Californians in areas like health, education, and resilience to natural disasters. And thus the California Institute for Information Technology Research in the Interest of Society, Citrus was born. The agenda remains remarkably relevant today. Dean Newton recruited the distinguished computer scientist, Ruja Nabachi, to be the Citrus's first true director. And with Jim, the, inst the Institute was launched on its successful path. Congratulations, Citrus, on reaching the significant 20 year milestone. And I look forward with great anticipation to your innovations and achievements that will come next. Let me pass the baton now to my boss, Berkeley Chancellor Carol Christ for her comments.